Hello, welcome to watch the Creative Proteomics video. Today, we are going to talk about methods for detection of protein-protein interactions. Proteins affect a number of biological functions, which often depends on macromolecular interactions. It has been estimated that more than 80% of proteins do not operate alone but in complexes. The analysis of protein-protein interactions is able to help us understand cellular organization, process, and functions. Protein-protein interactions analysis may discover unique and unforeseen functional roles for well-known proteins. And it can discover previously unknown proteins by association known as proteins. There is a large number of approaches to investigate protein-protein interactions, and each of the methods has its own strengths and weaknesses. These protein-protein interaction detection methods can be classified into three groups, including in vitro, in vivo, and in silico methods. The in vitro methods are performed in a controlled environment outside a living organism, such as coimmunoprecipitation. In vivo methods are performed on the whole living organism itself, such as yeast 2 hybrid. The in silico methods techniques are performed on a computer or by a computer simulation, such as the phylogenetic tree. Since the methods to investigate protein-protein interactions are too numerous to describe here, we focus on some common methods in the following parts, including coimmunoprecipitation, pull-down assay, and label transfer assay. Immunoprecipitation of intact protein complexes is recognized as coimmunoprecipitation. In coimmunoprecipitation, the proteins are present in their native form in a complex mixture of cellular components. As for its principle, targeting a known protein with a specific antibody can pull the entire protein complex, therefore, the unknown members of the complex can be identified. It is suitable for proteins involved in the complex bind to each other tightly. Immunoprecipitation experiments reveal direct and indirect interactions, so results may indicate that two proteins interact directly or may interact via one or more bridging molecules. The pull-down assay is a common variation of CoIP, which can be used to determine a physical interaction between two or more proteins in vivo, and to identify previously unknown protein-protein interactions as an initial screening assay. In pull-down assay, a bait protein is tagged and captured on an immobilized affinity ligand specific for the tag. When the cell lysate is incubated with an immobilized bait protein, proteins binding to the bait protein can be captured and pulled down. There are many types of tags for the bait, such as GST, polyhis, and biotin. The affinity ligand used to immobilize bait proteins include glutathione, nickel and chelate complexes, and streptavidin. Labor transfer has been widely used for screening or confirming protein-protein interactions. In fact, label transfer is very valuable to identify transient or weak protein-protein interactions that are difficult to capture using other in vitro detection strategies. In this method, the protein of interest is tagged with a label transfer reagent, composed of a label radical and a photoreactive group. After the cross-linking reaction, the label is transferred to an interacting partner and allowing its determination by multiple methods, like Western blot analysis, protein sequence analysis, and mass spectrometry. Mapping protein-protein interactions on a proteomic scale reveal the macromolecular connections that underlie the biology of the cell. Although there are many methods for detecting protein-protein interactions, only a few methods are able for high-throughput mapping. Binary mapping by yeast 2 hybrid and co-complex associations affinity purification followed by mass spectrometry, or co-fractionation with mass spectrometry, can be adapted to systematically survey the entire proteome. Each technique has inherent benefits and limitations. Binary mapping by yeast 2 hybrid detects direct physical interactions between two proteins, by the reconstitution of a transcription factor that activates reporter gene expression and promotes yeast cell survival, on appropriate selective media. In affinity purification and mass spectrometry, epitope tags are fused to bait proteins, and proteins associated with the bait proteins are purified and identified by mass spectrometry. Co-fractionation with mass spectrometry doesn't need exogenously introduced ORFs or protein tags. Chromatographic and other biochemical separation methods of cell extracts are carried out to generate hundreds to thousands of fractions that are analyzed by mass spectrometry. At Creative Proteomics, 
Our team of experts with extensive experience can help you understand what you are trying to investigate and give you the most appropriate solutions about protein and protein interactions. We can provide protein-protein interaction services based on different methods, including co-amino precipitation, pull-down assay, cross-linking protein interaction analysis, label transfer protein interaction analysis, and far western blot analysis. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or specific requirements, please don't hesitate to contact us. We will be very glad to cooperate with you.